The topic of this video is dividing polynomials using polynomial long division. Let's look at a problem. Divide. The numerator polynomial is 2x squared plus 9x plus 7. The denominator polynomial is x plus 1. Okay, the first step is to set this up using polynomial long division form. Our numerator is going to go underneath our division bar. And our denominator is going to go outside the division bar. We're going to create columns for all of our like terms in this problem. Just to the left of all of the add and subtract signs in the numerator, we're going to put vertical bars here. And we're going to say that this first column is for any term where the variable part is x squared. This column is for any term where the variable part is x. And this part, this column is for any term that consists exclusively of a number. This will not only keep our work neat and organized, but it will help us to avoid making mistakes. All right, so with this in mind, we are now going to begin the long division process. We take the first term of the lowest under, and we divide it by the first term of the denominator. We'll do that in our side workspace over here. So we have 2x squared divided by x. That gives the result 2x. This is the first piece of our answer, which we call the quotient. And it goes above our division bar in the appropriate column. The variable part of 2x is just x, so it goes in the x column. All right, the next step of polynomial long division is to take the newest entry in our quotient and multiply it by the entire denominator. So what I like to do is to draw a little arrow showing that my 2x is now going to be used to multiply by my denominator, which in this case is the x plus one, and I'll distribute to get 2x squared plus 2x. Next, place this result beneath the lowest under in the appropriate columns. So now I'm going to have the 2x squared in the x squared column, and I'm going to have the 2x in the x column. A polynomial long division is a process that involves erasing. So whenever you do polynomial long division, you want to make sure that you are writing with a pencil or erasable pen. So if you don't have either one of those, then go ahead and pause this video and go get those right now because you're going to need them in a moment. So we've got 2x squared plus 2x. All right, the next step is to subtract, and we do that by using the rhyme. Draw the line, change the sign, then combine. Here's what it means. We draw the line to underline the terms that we most recently put in our problem. We change the sign of all the terms that we just underlined. So this positive 2x squared becomes negative, and this add 2x becomes subtract 2x. This is why we have to have the ability to erase. And then we combine vertically. So 2x squared combined with negative 2x squared results in 0. 9x combined with negative 2x results in negative 7x. All right, the next step of polynomial long division is to bring down all terms from the original numerator that have not been changed in any way. That would be this plus 7, so we bring that down. And now we're going to look at the exponent that is associated with the lowest under versus the exponent that is associated with our denominator. So the exponent, the highest exponent on our variable x here is 1 and the highest exponent on our variable x here is also 1. So for that reason, we need to keep going. We're going to loop through the polynomial long division steps again, because we need for the exponent here in our lowest under to be less than the exponent of our denominator before we can stop. All right, so back to the beginning we go. So we take the first term of the lowest under, and we divide it by the first term of the denominator. Once again, we'll use our side workspace. So we have 7x being divided by x, which gives the result 7. This is the second piece of the answer. And 
Remember, the answer is called the quotient. And we put it above the division bar in the appropriate column. Well, 7 is just a number, so it goes in the number column. And because it happens to be a positive 7, we'll put a plus in front of it because we're creating an expression, 2x plus 7. All right, the next step is to take the most recent term put in our quotient and multiply it by the entire denominator, which is the x plus 1. So we distribute, and we get 7x plus 7. This now goes beneath the lowest under in our appropriate columns. So the 7x goes in the x column, and the plus 7 goes in the number column. Now we're ready for our rhyme. Draw the line, change the sign, then combine. So this positive 7x becomes negative, and this add 7 becomes subtract 7, so that we can combine vertically. 7x combined with negative 7x becomes a cancelled 0. 7 combined with negative 7 becomes 0. So now the exponent of our lowest under is 0. There is no x. And since that's less than 1, now we can stop and present our final answer to this polynomial long division problem. The final answer is always written in this form. The quotient plus the remainder divided by the original denominator. Our quotient for this problem was what we wrote above the division bar, 2x plus 7. The remainder is what you have left over once the exponent here in the lowest under is less than the biggest exponent of your denominator. In this case, that happens to be a remainder of 0. That will not always be the case. Sometimes we'll have a remainder that is not 0. And the denominator is the original denominator that we started with, which is x plus 1. Now, it just so happens that 0 divided by x plus 1 is 0. And adding 0 doesn't change anything. So this simplifies to 2x plus 7. So we've now used polynomial long division. 2x squared plus 9x plus 7 divided by x plus 1 gives the result 2x plus 7.